it kind of short, so I'm gonna cut it right, right here. gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair in a glass of wine and a straw and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 y'all tell me what you're drinking down below what are you drinking water mini mate from the frozen can <laughs> y'all let me know what you're drinking down below also while you're doing that hit the subscribe button and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post y'all not trying to be here for a long time you're here for a good time so let's go ahead and move into this wig i want to say thank you to Korea hair official for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video this wig on my head she, isn't she pretty isn't she gorgeous isn't she lovely let's go ahead and get into the specs of this wig so like i said this wig is from Korea hair official and ooh. I did not have to spit right on you, girl. I'm sorry. Wipe that off. So this wig is the ginger curly, ginger curly lace front wig. It's in the color T1B30. It is 150% density. It is a 13 by four lace frontal. Look at that. Oof, girl, look at that plication. It was in the length 16 inches originally when I got it, but I did a little chop chop a little snip snip y'all know i work for super cuts i had to cut as for the interior of the cap it is a 13 by 4 lace frontal it comes with three combs and adjustable straps and of course in your box they provide you with gifts these gifts are a wig cap a baby hairbrush some big old lashes i had to do a couple things to make her look like you know what i'm saying make her look like me make her look like she's growing out of my scalp let me actually show you what it looks like in the back oh I make my hair look larger than it is I take all the hair and push it to the front in real life when you do that it looks like this but when you push it to the front it looks much thicker so it's a little trick for the grass so if y'all want to see what I did to customize this wig and make her look a little bit more like me please keep on watching and then I'll be back Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and start with this wig. I'm not gonna be as finicky about my base like I really am finicky at all. Y'all know I'm like base averse. Y'all know I don't care about the base. As long as the wig look good, my base can look a fool. We're gonna start with our wig grip. I always use my wig grip. Let's throw on our wig cap. This is the same wig cap I always wear. She has a hole in her, but that is O. Oh, Tay, because I don't think anybody's gonna see that. Let me make sure it's not front and center though. Like, get some class, girl. Get some class. Our wig cap is on and our base is done. We're not playing games today, girl. It's Saturday. I want to go outside and play. So, this is the wig after washing. Okay, let's put her on. And y'all already know what our next step is gonna be. Y'all know. Oh, y'all, this hairline is looking cute. That is a fantastic hairline shout out to to kiwa sprouts shout out to you girl because she said i got pluckitis and i do i got pluckitis i just got this urge to pluck this hairline is just fine and part of me doesn't feel like plucking today i'm gonna pluck a little bit a little bit just a little bit so when i'm plucking i do the same thing i part in sections so I'll part a tiny little section and then I'll move forward, pluck here, and then pluck the front just to thin it out just a little bit. I just take a good set of tweezers. I'll leave a link for it down below. But y'all can see how I do it. If you've been here before, you see how I do it. I pluck it till I have no edges. If you got a wig in front of you, girl, just, just grab about a scalp and start plucking because i don't want to be alone in this 
You raise your hand if you got pluckitis. Y'all pluck with me. This is gonna be an easy, quick pluck, okay? Okay, so we're all plucked up and I mean plucked up because I plucked this side more than this side. Y'all saw my reaction? <gasps> oh, I did too much again. Notice that wigs that have color, um, especially in the lace frontal, you can see that the density is different between the front and the back. Like it's a little bit drier and thinner where the lace frontal is and then thicker in the back. So if you do want a length, you may have to go one or two inches longer to get the length of your desire because i always cut curly wigs but we're gonna mold the hairline and i thinking i want to do center part okay i want to do center part and kind of like short bangs i want it to be like short you can use a wax stick to flatten but this is curly hair i feel like it's easier and better and looks better to flatten your hairline with a mousse, um, a flattening mousse. And the flattening mousse that I prefer is the ZLA Instant Flattener Flattening Souffle. So let's pull it back like this. We're gonna take the mousse and we're gonna put it right on the hairline. We will be tinting our lace today, but I tint my lace after using mousse because the lace tint that I use bleeds. So it's better just to set it and forget it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna take a baby hair brush. I have so many of these now because some wig companies are starting to put baby hair brushes in, in the box. These baby hair brushes are what we need, girl. We don't need them earrings or them big old elephant lashes. <laughs> Give it a baby hair brush. So that's all done. Now we need to take our rapid strip. You already know. I use the same sort of products. I'm gonna take the rapid strip and lay it down flat. The hair is all stuck in between my fingers. And I can't turn the knot. <laughs> Why am I so mad? Move the hair out of the way. Step one, girl. Whew it in a knot and we're just gonna let it dry this Revlon blow dryer is already plugged up and ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and use her I'm gonna turn or her on high and cool to speed up the drying process so let's go I think the hairline is dry it it may or may not be dry. I don't know, girl. Ooh, it's always like this cutest little reveal. Oh my God, oh no. And y'all, this hairline is sickening. Like, it makes me sick and we are gonna make it look a little bit sicker. I have learned that it's always important to use a lace tint and it's important to find a lace tint that works for you. My favorite lace tint. This one is the Flawless Illusion Lace Tint Spray in the color medium brown. Let me go ahead and take this off because we're gonna go ahead and spray the tint onto this wig. So I'm gonna turn the wig inside out and we're just gonna spray onto the lace. Y'all can see it over here, right? You 
Camera number two. Can you see it? Okay, let's. Oh. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and dry her off. You're gonna blow dry it on warm, high, just to set it. Let's plop her back on. Oh, you see the difference in the lace? I don't know what the technology does, but it gives. Now that we done found our scissors, we can go ahead and cut our lace. I follow the hairline to glory. Take your time, get real close to a mirror, get real close and acquaint it like there's a mistletoe over your head, girl. And let's cut. Why am I yelling? And next, we just need to melt it into our hairline. Girl, that part is not a middle part, but that's where she's gonna stay. So to lay down my hairline, I use the same spray. It's the Wig Dealer Spray. Wig Dealer Melting Spray, black owned business. Boom, it's the bomb. So I love using this stuff. It's my go-to, but look at that. I'm telling you, a good lace tint will change your life. I'm gonna go ahead and start by spraying this to lay it down. Oh, not in the middle of the forehead though. That's not. Blow dry on. Girl, y'all know I love a fresh comb out. So the hairline is down and look how good it looks without any baby hairs. We don't need baby hairs, but guess what we're getting? Baby hairs. I'm gonna start here, combing out all the product and we're just gonna lay down the baby hair. Oh, we're gonna take our got to be glue gel. I love using this gel. And I'm just gonna cut into it. Like so, like that. Ooh. But look how cute that is. But let's do the same thing down here. So the baby hairs are down and they look so good. I was about to tie them down, but 
So we're gonna let those baby hairs dry. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do with this hair, honey. I was playing with the idea of a side part because the hairline looks fantastic. But how are we gonna cut this hair, girl? Okay, so first I'm gonna cut it. So I'm just gonna cut this bottom part. And y'all know how I cut hair the uh, cheap and cheerful way. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so to cut this, I like to do it like this because it's even. <laughs> I want it kind of short, so I'm gonna cut it right, right here. That's good. Ooh! I love it! I'm gonna do that wolf cut situation because it does round it out. Even though I don't know how to cut, I do know, like this method really does work. So we do like a half sort of situation to get the front. So I'm just gonna pull the hair up like so like that. This hairline, is giving bruh. That's why we have to do a side part because this hairline is something else. We're gonna pull it into a ponytail. Girl, I could wear this as a half up, half down. The girls will be like, oh my God, I know your hair color. We're just gonna brush this out and we're gonna cut the ends. I usually put another rubber band down here, but I'm being lazy, so right here. There we go. I'm not even really trying to do it like perfectly. Ooh. <laughs> Did I cut that too short, girl? So far so good. Okay, and we need to cut this part. So I think it goes like this, this part right here, like the little crown area. Pull this up in a little ponytail. And it doesn't have to be perfect for me. I'm gonna cut this up just a tad bit further. So we're gonna cut it like right here. All right. And then I'm gonna do that, um, that thing that the girls do, those bangs, I forgot, the curtain bang trend. You kinda do a triangle, a little triangle, bring it forward, and I'm gonna cut it right, right there. Okay, that's a lot of layers. And right here, you're supposed to cut into it just a tad bit too, so it doesn't look so out of water. Girl, I really don't know what I'm doing, so bless my heart. As the girls in the South say. Somebody stop me, please. Okay, let's do this side. I'm gonna cut right here. It's gonna take some of the hairs like in the front. And cut into it. Yes, God. And the hair is shaped. <laughs> we did it, girl. I'm gonna round this. Y'all see that part sticking out? I'm just gonna take it off. If that dog. And do the same thing to this side. But this looks really good and round and kind of like what I was looking for. I think I want to do the side part because the hairline is giving. So we're gonna do side. 
against my better judgment, we're gonna do side part. In order to do side part, I do have to kind of redirect the hair back here. So I'm gonna take my ZLA flattening souffle once again, and I'm gonna separate the hair and just kind of mousse it. So this is how I'm going to wear the hair. I'm probably gonna define this part a little bit later, but in the meantime, all we need to do now is add our mousse. In order to get this hair like super curly and juicy, I use the same product that I always have been using and it, this product, this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Mousse. Mm, mm, mm. So good, let me go get the door. My husband's at the door. Girl. You can get this from Target, but I also leave a link for it down below because I think you can also get it off of Amazon, I'm pretty sure. But I think the side part works so much better. Why didn't y'all tell me in the beginning? I like to section the hair in half when I do that. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'll end on this side. So let's section this hair away. Where my hair tie at? Girl, I would lose my nose if it wasn't attached to my face. Where? <laughs> Let's see, okay, so I'm gonna section this part away with a little ponytail holder. Let me sit up straight like a grown up. And we're gonna start on this side. So I'm not, usually I would saturate, I used to saturate the hair, but girl, I'm not doing that anymore because it takes so much time to saturate hair, so. And I like to use a detangling brush, girl, she is crusty and dusty. She got gel and all types of stuff in her, but I don't have time to clean her out. So we like to clump the curls together and then separate them later. So let's do it.
this is a finished look girl it was touch and go for a minute it was touch and go i wasn't really sure if i was gonna like it and i love it now i like it i was telling my husband i was like mm, something's off and that's what it was she needed a little bit less weight on her and oh so much better but it, right now it is 6 28 and i started filming at like Two? Girl, I had to take some time to do this, but it was worth it. Let me go ahead and show y'all the bag. This was a labor of love, honey. Y'all saw me change that part. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let me show y'all the bag. I want to say thank you to Korea Hair Official for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you're interested in this hair, I will leave a link for it down below. There are a couple of coupon codes down below as well. So I'll leave those down in the description box just so you can check those out because everybody need to have some money off on a wig purchase. So I'll leave those down below as well. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I was about to drink that and get it all over my Invisalign. Let me get a straw. Bye. <laughs>